Hello and welcome into your Seattle Seahawks report. I'm Jordan Giorgio. We have a ton of news and rumors to get into, so let's go ahead and see what's on tap for today. First bit of news to get into, the Seahawks have released defensive end Cliff Averill. So Averill's time with Seattle has unfortunately come to an early end, as the Seahawks released him earlier today after he failed his physical. We know Averill suffered a severe neck injury that ended his 2017 season after just four games. Averill posted 33 and a half sacks in his four full seasons with the Seahawks from 2013 to 2016, as well as 13 forced fumbles. He earned Pro Bowl honors for the first time in 2016 after recording 11 and a half sacks and five forced fumbles. Next bit of news to get into, Shaquem Griffin's rookie jer jersey is among the top five jerseys sold. So Shaquem's jersey is among the most sold jerseys of NFL draftees. The top five are Saquon Barkley's, followed by Baker Mayfield, Sam Darnold's, Josh Allen's, and Shaquem's earns the number fifth spot. Sports fans everywhere celebrated, including myself, when we drafted Shaquem, who had his left hand amputated at age four in the fifth round of the NFL draft. So 12s, if you haven't already, go ahead and get your Griffin jersey to show your support. Next bit of news to get into Seahawks mini camp for the rookies is set to begin. It's now time for all the Seahawks rookies and undrafted free agents to prove themselves as mini camp officially begins today. Although Seattle has yet to officially confirm this year's rookie mini camp roster, but many athletes, schools, and reporters have tweeted out their invitations. Mini camp will run today and Saturday from 1:30 to 3:30 p.m. and Sunday from 10:30 a.m. to 12:15 p.m. So make sure to keep it right here on the Seahawks report for a recap of this year's rookie minicamp. You are watching your Seattle Seahawks report presented by Man Crates. Now, before we get into all the latest rumors right at Seattle, you have to understand my rumor scale. So if a rumor is given no 12 flags, it means it is fake news. Absolutely not happening. One 12 flag, small shred of truth, two 12 flags. People are talking. 312 flags, it is pretty likely to happen, and 412 flags bring on the 12s, baby. This is true. So, first rumor to get into are the Seahawks looking to trade Rashad Penny? Well, I'm giving this one 212 flags. People are talking. John Schneider has come out to say that he did get a call after the Seahawks drafted running back Rashad Penny in the first round from a team that had wanted Penny and hoped to secure a trade for him. Schneider didn't name the team or say how much they were offering for Penny, and although trades for players who were just drafted are rare in the NFL, they're not unheard of. We could take a trip down memory lane to when Eli Manning and Phillip Rivers were traded for each other shortly after the Chargers drafted Manning and the Giants drafted Rivers in 2004. Next rumor to get into is Will Disley, the best draft pick for the Seattle Seahawks. Well, I'm giving this one two 12 flags because people are talking about it. The Seahawks brought on the tight end from Washington in round four, pick 120. Disley is 6'4 and 265 pounds, but all 265 pounds of that is nasty and dominant when it comes to blocking, especially in the running game, which we all know that is something that Pete Carroll and the Seahawks wanted to improve. And that all started with their first round selection in Penny. Disley isn't the greatest receiver, though. His hands are not the best in this 2018 NFL draft class, only catching 21 passes last season. That was only 17 more than his 2016 campaign. But I want to know from you 12s, do you think that Disley is the best player that the Seahawks drafted? Get your reactions in. Next rumor to get into, the, do the Seattle Seahawks hate Kanye West. I'm giving this one two 12 flags because people are talking. Kanye West caused an uproar this past Tuesday during a live show on TMZ while talking about mental prisons and free thinking while getting his point across by suggesting slavery in the United States was choice for black people considering how long the terrible enterprise lasted. Well, Kanye's comments didn't sit well with both Dwayne Brown and Doug Baldwin. Brown tweeted, Kanye really said that slavery for 400 years sounds like a choice and asked why they didn't just leave shaking my head. He really just said that out loud. Now, Baldwin, other, on the other hand, was more harsh well, with his criticism saying, we act surprised, but Kanye has always been legit crazy. The college dropout has officially dropped out of reality. 
next rumor to get into. The Seahawks are giving Earl Thomas an extension. Giving this one two 12 flags, people are talking. According to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, the Seahawks are now looking to give Thomas a long-term contract extension since they weren't able to agree to terms on a trade for him. Now, giving Thomas a new contract seems logical for the Seahawks at this point, but it will be interesting to see what they will offer for him and how the negotiations will play out. We all know that the be in the beginning of the offseason, it was reported that Thomas wanted top safety money around $11 million per season. But will the Seahawks be willing to dish out that much money? It's awaiting Game 12s. We will see. Next rumor to get into are the Seahawks planning to franchise tag Russell Wilson. We're giving this one 312 flags. It is pretty likely. According to Mike Florio of Pro Football Talk, Seattle is expected to place the franchise tag on Wilson once his four-year $86.7 million deal expires. Florio states per a source with knowledge of the situation, the current expectation from Wilson's perspective is that he'll finish his current deal and receive the franchise tag in 2020. Based on his 2019 cap number of $25 million, it'll cost the Seahawks $30 million to keep him for another season after the expiration of his current deal. So the Seahawks do have a desire to keep Wilson even with the hefty amount that it will cost him. Next rumor to get into, Earl Thomas, does he actually want to be a Seahawk? We're giving this one 312 flags because it is pretty likely. We know John Schneider said after the NFL draft, a number of clubs called out, uh, called about trading for Thomas, but nothing came about it. He has since come out to say, quote, my sense is that he wants to be here. So our general manager feels confident, but I want to know from you guys. Do you think that Earl Thomas wants to be a Seahawk? Get your reactions in. Give me a heart for yes or a wow face for no.